What about painting an overhead garage door the easy way with really no brush? Well, first of all, you want to power wash your overhead garage door. You want to get all the dirt and dust off because if you don't, your paint will peel because it has nothing to stick to. So you see I have so many panels on my door and I actually had a flat paint um, to match the trim. See the difference there, flat on top. The bottom, I used a satin and I went a little bit deeper. Uh, satin tends to allow the water to run off the overhead garage door to where I feel like flat paint absorbs moisture more than what the satin does. Satin is like a shield, right? So the easy way to paint your overhead garage door, I'm in the sun now. If it's really hot outside, 80, 90 degrees, 75 degrees, then you don't want to paint this in the sun, right? Because they're, they're basically bake the paint. And I think it'll tell you that on your on your paint can. So be careful of that. So right now it's in the 60s. It's beautiful out. I started from the bottom. I had a garage door up. And I started from the bottom. I'd lower it uh, for every run. That way I was sure that the garage door wouldn't get dirty, even though it's not windy out. And the panels stayed cool. Okay. So again, I showed you in a couple of my videos the Slim Jim rollers, right? Some say cigar rollers, some say Slim Jim. This is uh, my satin paint and my grid. So like I stated before in my other video, always keep that roller full paint. Not, not full to where it's gonna splatter and all over the place and drip all over the place, right? Um, so you see where I left off, it's important to go one direction, go with the grain, right? Um, back and forth like this, right? And you wanna keep going. Um, I start from right to left but I think it's because I'm right-handed. Um, see the gook in there? So what you wanna do, use the end of your roller like this, right? And it fills all these little seams, right? Right there, come down like this, right there, right? So it's kind of like you're cutting it in with the roller. Um, let me get this off here, boom, boom, like that. And again, let the roller work for you, okay? Fill it in, keep spreading it, okay? It's important, just keep spreading that paint. Don't let the roller dry out, like I mentioned before. All right, see how that fills that nice and neat like this, all right? Even at the top here, I've already painted this earlier today, but see this roller? It gets it right up in here, like this. That we don't want to put too much paint in there um, because you don't want that to stick to the overhead garage door. This actually is a metal strip, which I like it way better than the plastic. Um, and then what you want to do is lift the garage door, you know, every couple minutes. See how pretty that looks? Lift it because what will happen um, sometimes when these seams are really close and if you really pile on the paint, that panel the top and the bottom will stick to each other and they'll either crack the paint or pull the paint or cause the garage door to stick and then you'll have to use either a putty knife or um, a razor to cut that seam okay but you can see there's no paint in mine um, going really smooth nice finish on that see a little bit of a shine nothing too crazy that's my tip for today